Should teachers get emergency worker discounts? 0207 862 222, as you've seen, is the number. Teachers, including those who work part time, are now eligible for up to 15,000 discounts offered to NHS staff, firefighters, members of the armed forces. Those with a blue light card are able to claim rewards from retailers, including Apple and Starbucks, and it could save them 800 quid a year. These are the kind of offers they can get. Here we go, have a look at this. Ah. Joe Wick's Body Coach app, 50% off an annual subscription. Rihanna's Fenty Beauty Makeup, 12% off. Travel and Leisure, you got British Airways, a £30 gift card uh, with a £1,000 spend. I fly indoor skydiving. Would your teacher enjoy that? Maybe they would. Maybe they need that. Maybe the skydiving is what they need. Uh, as do they get 5% five, uh, 5 off in store, fresh foods, up to £6 at Iceland, eating out, Domino's, beef eaters. Uh, and then they keep coming. Look at this. EE, 20% on, uh, saved on a 24-month monthly plan and SIM-only plan, Vodafone, a quarter off selected airtime plans, even as much as cars, whether you get them from... Uh, uh, servicing and that sort of thing from Hal Halfords, half price MOTs, or a hundred and ten pounds voucher to sell your car on Carwell. Um, critics, including some teachers, argue the teachers themselves. This is argue they haven't earned the same perks as emergency workers. But blue light card say that teachers are fully deserving, as they are mentors, guides, and inspirations who help shape the future for our children. Jess, can we put them in the same category? There's no doubt, obviously, that teachers are essential to mm. society. They look after our kids, they educate our kids as well, but do they fall into the same category and does that matter? I don't think it matters. Look, we're talking about 30 quid savings on the thousand pound flight at British Air. Like at the end of the day, people can Google to get 10% off most places online. If you're not doing it yet, you should probably do it. But teachers, they're not just educators, which is so important. They're taking on the role of caregivers. They're doing safeguarding. They're there to teach people children about stuff like consent. They're teaching them stuff about family issues. People go to them to disclose. Children are go to them to disclose about what's happened at home. They're therapists, they're social workers. Like they take on so many really important roles. So if they can save 10% on their makeup in Fenty Beauty, then I think let them. It's not a big deal. And I think, look, NHS workers, of course, do an incredible job. But if we're looking at teachers, if you work at the NHS and you work in admin, if you work on the front desk at GP surgery, you can get this discount. So of course, they do wonderful roles, they do wonderful jobs but teachers should be able to qualify for it too. Christo, is this about income? And is this about how much people earn compared to what they give us in society? Or is it, I mean, because if you're comparing, I don't know, saving somebody from a fire and taking an assembly, it's very hard to make that comparison. Well, the clue's in the title. I mean, it's a blue light card for emergency workers. Now, I mean, teachers are extremely valuable, but I've never been able to call a number and get a teacher around within three minutes to educate me. Maybe I need it. But I think that the, the problem with this is, look, if a commercial entity says, I want to give a teacher a discount, and if you can prove that you are a member of a teaching union, you can have a discount, great. But the problem is that this card is a card that is given to all of these different blue light workers, including nurses, including ambulance staff, including all these people. And the big fear with this, among many of them, is that a teacher who's earning £49,000 a year, which is the median salary of a teacher, very different to the salary of a nurse, um, the, the, the fear is that this is going to mean that fewer companies will end up taking this card and giving the discount because more people are now going to be eligible for it, meaning that those people who genuinely work for these blue light organisations that we all rely on, fewer of them will be able to get the discounts that they want. I'm not sure that's the case. I'm not sure about that. Because, Why? Well, because at the end of the day, this is a product. This is a product that they are selling. And if they can sell it to more people, then they have a bigger market to offer those people. But the companies, the are companies then have to give discounts to more and more people. And then more companies... people buy from those companies. Yes, at a discount, which means that the companies make less money and they can very easily say, well, sorry, actually, we're not going to take this discount yeah, card anymore. Any anyway, listen, I want to take some calls because we've got them coming in already. Gillian's in Sussex. Gillian, would you put teachers in the same category as what we see as blue light, emergency workers, firemen, uh, police services, uh, veterans? What do you think? Well, obviously, I'm a teacher, which is why I, I've called in. And I have the absolute greatest respect for um, 
blue light workers, for all emergency workers. They do an amazing job. But I think that perhaps people are forgetting that teachers don't just go in at nine and go home at three and sit there and teach a little bit of maths and English. Currently, with the lack of services sort of elsewhere, they, they deal with social care crisis, they deal with mental health crisis for their children, they advise the parents about that, they support parents, they provide links to food banks, and they provide training for parents, um, they help parents deal with all the social media. Um, we work hard, we work evenings, we work weekends. I, I, I don't put myself in the same category as a blue light worker, absolutely. But I also, the services that we are, and I've been a teacher for 30 years, that we're now having to provide for our young people are very, very different. So what you would say is that, that going over and above puts you in the same category because your job title doesn't really cover it anymore. And it's that difference between a, a job and a vocation, would you say? And it is all the stuff, but if you get all the mental health stuff right, if you get the family stuff right, if you support the families, children are going to achieve better. They're going to achieve better in their education if they're properly fed. And, you know, if, it, if we're picking up food bank stuff, um, you know, and you will also see um, from the media that, te you know, violence and, and sort of abuse towards teachers has also, you know, really upped in the last, I don't know, 10 years or so. So, you know, it, it's not perhaps the picture of teaching that you might have had a couple of generations ago where everyone had super respect for, for teachers and, and parents just respected all the, the what teachers, um, you know, said and did. Um, you get a lot of, you know, angry and cross and entitled parents. I mean, Gillian's got a point, Christo, because we think about emergency, you know, even the word blue light makes you think of drama and action and putting yourself at risk. But there's plenty of risk with the job that Gillian's doing, that there is, there is confrontation, there is, there is drama that we just don't always get to see it and programmes aren't necessarily made about it that, that highlight them in the same way. Well, I, and I, I take on board what Gillian says, especially about parents and, you know, not respecting teachers and all of those sorts of things. But then I, I stand by the idea that if a company, a private company, wants to give teachers a discount, great, do it, perfect. But lumping them in with this card is, I think, going to be to the detriment of veterans and nurses and other people who will will suffer. I mean, people who are actually in these industries on X have said, this is why fewer places are taking this card now. Interesting. Interesting. Well, uh, Scott's in Devon. Scott, um, what's your position? Are you a teacher? Uh, do you work in the uh, emergency services? Good morning. Yes, morning, so I work in the police. Um, I, personally, I think that, yeah, they should be entitled to a discount. However, Personally, I feel the discount should be on a different card. Uh, it, I mean, really, they should have a key worker card. What's wrong with that? Uh, that way, because where do we stop? It starts with teachers. It becomes refuse collectors. It becomes civil servants in general. Um, so obviously, you'll have a huge number of people applying for the same card. And there's no doubt about it. The discounts will be diluted. Companies will decide to pull away from it because some uh, companies have take a conscious decision that they want to support emergency services. And obviously, this is no longer an emergency service card. Is it, is it something you use yourself, Scott? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. So I've had one for quite a few how years now. How useful is it for you? Uh, semi. I mean, it's probably more useful for restaurants, things like that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it does get used. Why so many people who work in the emergency services are having to use discounts to be able to afford stuff and treat themselves and go on holiday and for their MOT? You know, I think it's because a lot of people are underpaid. And if we can help teachers out, I agree, maybe give them a key worker card if that's such a big difference to people. But I think, you know, we're actually looking at people can't really afford to buy all these things. And that's why we're all looking and desperate for discounts. I mean, students get a lot of discounts in places as well. There are literally, I'm assuming, hundreds of thousands of students in the UK. Are people stopped taking a student discount? No, everywhere takes student discount. But that's yeah. a specific student discount. It's not a discount that's lumped in with other people. So I think what if there was a key worker card and a blue light card, I think actually that's the perfect solution. But putting teachers in the blue light card, I think Scott's concerns are correct, that it will reduce the amount of people taking it or reduce the discounts. But just for context, teachers will get an average of a £2,500 pay rise 
in September. So people might look at that yeah, and say things seeing... are moving in the right direction, at least. Yeah, we're also seeing record numbers of teachers actually leaving the profession because, again, it, they don't really get paid overly too much. But, you know, OK, they're getting the pay rise. But actually, the job is very difficult. Again, like one of our callers said, you take on so many different roles. Why would you not want to transfer them skills into a corporate job where actually they get a lot easier lives? They probably get a lot higher pay. So actually, if this is going to keep a few teachers in the profession, then why not? Yeah. Well, I would argue that if you're leaving the teaching profession, probably Probably, you know, a small discount at Domino's is probably the, the, the last thing that's going to keep you in it. it. Yeah, it's not going to make people want to join, but it might be something... The perks, that, you the know, perks are a little bit of a perk. Yeah, it could make all the difference. OK, Alison is in London. Alison, uh, oh, sorry, Alice has left us. Uh, Beth's in Warwickshire. Beth, uh, tell us, do you think that teachers should be in that same category and receive this card? Um, the only thing, like, the only point that I would say is I find it hard to see where you draw the line on, um, like, putting teachers in this category. I would argue that that would entitle a lot of other similar jobs, like social workers who also have a really big responsibility and, like, um, do more for their job than what first, like, what we first see a teacher doing as teaching kids they have a lot more responsibility than that I would say there's also other categories that would fall into that and then I just don't see where the line would be drawn personally marketplace, though, Beth, isn't that the idea that this is just a, a marketing a, a way to draw in an audience a specific audience in this case teachers to services to goods that they might not use otherwise so eventually they will keep spreading it yeah I totally agree with that I just don't think this is the most like I don't, I don't see this as like the most important conversation that we should be having around teachers and the job that they have to do and like the benefits that they get I feel like having a discount and the debate whether they should be having a blue light discount is probably the least of their concerns right now so what, what Jess says that actually why yeah. should we be relying on companies to provide this rather than pay, yeah, pay them what they like um Alison is back with us now she's in London Alison what do you think do you think teachers qualify in the same oh. way that blue light workers do to be honest I thought they did already um get a blue light card um and yeah I do think they qualify I'm, I'm, maybe everybody may disagree with me but yeah I do believe that they deserve it You'd say absolutely they're in the same category, despite like the re the real differences between their daily work. Uh, okay, well, let's put it this way: during COVID, what happened during COVID? Weren't they emerged? Didn't they work during COVID? Some of the some of the teachers did. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the work that they did, educating our kids when and they the weren't... work that they continue to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I believe, you know, they do. I think it's a really good point you make, Alice, and some of the lessons we learned in COVID and some of the efforts that people made somehow, I think, have slipped by us. And, and our teachers uh, generally were outstanding, um, trying yes. to keep our kids active and engaged during that time. What an effort that was. Um, Alison, thank you so much. Thank you so much.